Hey guys, it's Advanced Logic. Welcome back to Let's Play Bayonetta. In the last part, we went through Chapter 8, where we just went across Prominence Bridge on a freaking motorcycle. Which was kind of annoying at first, but then after a while, once you get the hang of it, it's pretty freaking awesome. And we got te teleported into some weird dimension, and now we're going to be going through Chapter 9, Paradiso, A Remembrance of Time. Also, for this chapter, I suggest if you don't have the Crow Within, get it. You're going to need it if you want to 100% this game. Seriously. Anyway... Let's get this chapter started, because I want to get this out the way. Also, I'm not going to keep Pillow Talk equipped, even though I do have the option of doing that, but trust, I want to go at this now as if nobody else has Pillow Talk. There we go. So where are we at? Somehow we're in Paradiso. I don't know how that's possible, though. But God, am I not complaining? Jesus, this is my dear sweet child. Fear not, for I am watching you. Did Bayonetta look a little jumpy to you guys, or was it just me? Whatever. Anyway, now I'm just gonna equip the Shiraba in place of the Pillow Talk for now. There, if you do want to keep using Pillow Talk, by all means, go for it. But whatever. I just wanted to show that to, to you guys, just because it seemed fitting to me after Chapter 7, seriously. The way they just kept saying, Pillow Talk, Pillow Talk, Pillow Talk, I'm like, oh damn. I Now I have to do it. Anyway, make your way across those light platforms, and make your way here for a fight. And... I'm gonna... Ha ha! Get the Ardor out of the way. Trust me. Ah, oh, god damn it! And get you out of the way. If you guys didn't notice, he has the key as a weapon. And fuck you, man, for using that laser on me. Hey. Ha ha! Fail. You should get quite a bit of combo if you do that, right? But now just grab the key that the Ardor dropped and use it on this. And it's summoning up these, like, little light... Light, light rings. I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about anymore. And I got gold just because I got hit! And probably mostly because of combo too. Anyway, what you want to do after that is make your way over to this little sun sun wall right here. And you somehow open an umbered chest behind it. Break it down. And then you get the first of the first piece of the golden LP for this chapter. And this is like this is actually the last golden LP you can actually find. The other ones you have to do by either finishing 100 chapters on normal di at normal difficulty or higher, beating the game on hard mode, or beating the game on non-stop infinite climax mode. In order to here's an arcade bullet. And the one for non-stop infinite climax, I've already pretty much gotten that because of that cheat I showed you guys back in uh, before chapter 8. If you guys check right here, files, the rarities, oh wait, not Umber Tears of Blood, damn it! Angelic Hymns. See, this is what you unlock for doing that cheat. So doing that cheat pretty much counts as like unlocking a golden LP. So anyway, make your way back here, open this chest, and you get a broken witch heart out of it. Yeah, there's compared to the last chapter where there was only two broken witch hearts to find, in this chapter, there's I think 11 Umbran chests, 5 broken witch hearts, and uh, 2 broken moon pearls. And all this other crap, and three Alpine portals. The f ne the first of the three, which I'm gonna be showing you guys right here. This one's gonna be kind of annoying because it's one that we haven't done up to this point. It will be kind of annoying if you don't know how to work it right. But as long as you have the Shiraba or Pillow Talk, Shiraba makes it like really freaking easy. Pillow Talk makes it really easy. For this one, it's an out of body battle, just like the one you did with Ceresa. You just push X to get out of your body and fight the angels. And I suggest fully charging the Shiraba or Pillow Talk and to kill these guys out of the way. And make sure that they do not hit your body. Because seriously, if they hit your body, that counts as you that counts as you getting hit. Just like that.
God damn it! I'm trying not to get hit here. Die, freakers! Mother freakers! Meh. Anyway, I suggest saving up the torture attack for now. Ah! Ah, come on. Get to my body. Even though you won't be able to touch it. No. No. Ha ha. Fail. I like that one. I don't know why I like doing that. Anyway, if you get a halfway charge and then dodge, it's... Then you can still keep the charge. God damn it. No. Fuck. I'm not gonna get it, am I? Yeah, by not. Ugh. I managed to do this once without dying or anything. So, yeah. And I just got an achievement by doing this, the deepest cut, I guess. I think this involves the Shiraba, I'm not sure, but I'm just gonna keep trying to get this freaking Alfheim out of the way. I've already failed again. No. No. It's mainly this ardor that kind of annoys me. No. Get the hell out of my way, you freaking Ardor! Screw it. I don't care if that doesn't kill you or not. There. And I got this Alfheim out of the way. <laughs> Took me like three tries, including the first time that I failed. And you get a Broken Moon Pearl out of it. Gold. I don't care. Fuck. This one's the more annoying of the three that you can do in this chapter. So, yeah, the second one is incredibly easy as long as you know how to dodge. And the third one, eh, it's alright as long as you have the Shiraba or Pillow Talk. Seriously, though, this chap, this Alphine portal that we just did, pil the Shiraba makes it easy. Pillow Talk is just, holy crap, why the hell am I even doing this? This is so easy. Anyway, that's all we can get here in this area of the game. We haven't even left this second area of the game. And we've already had, or I'm already having trouble. Anyway, I'm just making my way up all this. Come on, where's the next light ring? There it is. Make your way across this one, and I'm just running on it. And then you come up across these enemies. Go after the one with the key. Hey. No. Screw you, man. I don't care if you have a key. I'll just crush you. Screw it. Crush your hopes and dreams. Ha. Huh? I'm getting too used to charging the sword now. <laughs> I'm already... I've always had to do that just to pass that Alfheim. Ah! Anyway, this place is really relaxing to me. Which is ironic because I'm killing angels. Eh, anyway. If you want... If you want to avoid all those battles, just kill the one with the key first, and then go to the keyhole and use it. And that'll kill every enemy that remains. But if you want to get combo up in here, uh, kill every enemy first and then use the key. Platinum. Sweet. I haven't gotten platinum in a while now. Anyway, let's just run across this. And let's break all these. I think one of these has a bullet, arcade bullet in here. Nah, I guess not. Make your way on this. Holy crap, what the hell is that? And yes, you have to go into Panther, you gotta go into the Beast Within, and try and run, outrun it. And dodge these lightning things by jumping, before they even hit, like, form completely. If you want, I think you could dodge the lightning and then fight those enemies for combo, but trust me, you wanna outrun that, because if you don't, if you get knocked off by that ball, 
then uh, you die. And yet, if you want to keep doing all this other crap, do not die. I don't want to die anyway. Of course I get gold. Zero in combo, look at that. Anyway, you make your way to this wall and break it. And it'll form into one of these cogs that you need in order to move this little island. Push X to turn this, and you can actually m use the control stick, rotate it in certain direc any direction you want. But the only way we can actually turn it is left because there's this only that right there. There we go. Anyway, make our way over here, and now we're in the Paradiso version of Vigrid. I think we've already been there, but. Ah, screw you, man! What the hell do you have against me? And yes, there's five Umbran chests in this entire area. And it's part of a verse. So, yeah, you have to open all these chests in order to get the... Oh, look at that! I've already gotten half of them. That's the achievement you get for getting half of the Umbran chests. And yeah, watch out for this one because the moment you break it open, there's going to be an enemy coming out of it. If you dodge it just right, you can get into Witch Time. Get the hell out of my way. Ah! Also, yes, that ball is just going to keep dropping if, as long as you're not around the chests. As you see right here. So if you want to avoid it, just like dodge it or... Uh, dodge it or jump it or jump to avoid its like shockwave. Which I usually do. Swing and a miss. This one's gonna have another one in a minute. A minute, a minute. Another enemy. So just kill the ever loving crap out of it. God damn it. The Grace and Glory are gonna get really annoying after a while because after this chapter, they're gonna start. It's gonna be really harder to go into witch time because of them. Or go, to, go into witch time with their attacks. Man, I should have saved that. Whatever. And let's get, make our way over here. And stop trying to crush me! And this one's gonna have another enemy in it. Son of a bitch! I don't get why that one always shows up like right here. The freaking ball thing. Hey... There we go. And that's it for this verse. Now we got all five pieces of the key, and that thing almost crushed me! Thank god it didn't! And the key forms completely, and now we have the key. Gold. Sweet. And all you have to do is grab it, and of course, like the other two times, just use it on this. They get crazy with the platforms, though. And it'll kind of distort your feeling of gravity and shit. Because these things circle around- OH GOD! And... fail. <laughs> ah, damn it, man! Really? Did I really have to do that? Anyway, yeah, they just keep circling around and all this other crap. And this Umbran chest in plain sight, and it has a broken witch heart. Very nice. And he, let's just continue onward. <laughs> and yep, believe it or not, this is an enemy. And I find it to be like the most cleverly named enemy in this entire game. Kinship. Ha ha ha. <laughs> I don't know. But yes, it is. It does have a wide variety of attacks, like these things. Dodge immediately after it ends. Because that's kind of annoying when it does that. Because those things can really combo on you. So yes, you could jump on these kinship and you could destroy them. But once they get, once you kill them, they're gonna explode. So I suggest jumping in the air when that happens, or something like that. Oh wait, that wasn't it. Anyway, there's two kinships in this verse. You could jump on this one right here, but it's just gonna circle around. If you don't make it on that one, 
you could jump on it this time right here. Uh, screw you, man. There we go. Jump, abandon ship, abandon kinship, fucking. <laughs> what the hell? Why do we keep jumping off? Is it really that hard for me to jump on a ship? Kinship? Ha 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 ha. I don't know. Anyway, after finding those two kinship, you get a, another piece of the golden LP. So let's just grab that right now. And there is a number of chests right there, but we'll get to it right now when we get to it. Anyway, jump on this kinship, and as I told you guys before, get the crow within to 100% this chapter. Because you gotta double jump off this, and then use the crow within to fly to this lone plat light platform. Blah, 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 blah. Because it has an alpine portal. The easiest one of them all. As long as you know how to fight properly. I like this I like that combo. This one. Freaking awesome. Anyway. This Alpine Portal's restriction is... There is none. You just gotta defeat all the enemies before time expires. But it's only one enemy. And it's John. And it's really easy to kick her ass. You can just dodge her wicked wheeze in order to go to witch time. Ah! John, you make this too easy. Easy! Look at that! I told you, the easiest Alfheim of this chapter. I thought I was gonna jinx it and get the LP curse, but nah, apparently not. Finally, I haven't gotten a pure platinum in a long time, and for this Alfheim, you get a broken witch heart. Very nice. So yeah, the last one, it's, it's like the medium of the three of this chapter. So, yes. Oh, I love this combo. It looks good, but it doesn't really do that much damage. I guess it's like if you're surrounded or something. Anyway, let's make our way back over here. Come on, Crow Within. What sucks is that it has like a restriction to how long you can be flying. And again, that would make it too broken if it didn't. So let's break these things over here. Alright, Green Laurel and Purple Butterfly. There we go, break this chest right here and you get a broken moon pearl. And I think it's the last one of this chapter. So yep, let's make our way over here. And here's where you can get an achievement, and as a result of it, an Umbran Tears of Blood. All you gotta do is jump through this portal, and kill all these tentacles. If you can't, if you're gonna miss it, hold X to like shoot it, or to keep shooting. And then you could like, try shooting for its uh, little ball area. I'm gonna try getting the achievement, I'm not gonna guarantee anything though. No, I want that achievement. No, give me that achievement. Hey, 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 hey. There we go, got that one. Woo! You will get hit by the tentacles if you touch them anywhere else though. Ah, damn it, I missed one. I'm not getting that achievement. Ah, I missed two now. Anyway, aim for this right here. And right off the bat, you gotta fight three joys again. On only this time, there's no hazards, and I can finally show you the freaking torture attack. After like two chapters. Beautiful. Tap X, tap X, tap X. Oh, that's like the most hilarious torture attack I've ever seen in my life. No. No. Yeah, you guys have no excuse now. There's no car saving you. There's no car saving you now, Joyce. There's no car saving you now, you fuckers. Die by the sword! Thank you for that. Uh, anyway, jump your way across this, and end that verse. Gold. Mainly because I got hit by, a little bit by the joys, and by those freaking tentacles. And I didn't even get the achievement. 
Anyway, right here's the gates of hell. And so far we only have two of the three pieces of the golden LP. But we're going to fix that right now. Jump under this and make your way down here. And break these statues. And you can activate a verse. And kill this enemy right over here. And make your way over to these other statues. And kill this guy right here. And destroy the statue right here. No. I'm trying to get some combo in here. And... Torture down! Ah. There we go. Two, pl pu two, blah, blah, blah. two pure platinums in this chapter. Anyway, break this wall right here. And the one of the Umbran chests. And it has the final piece of the golden LP. And we got Record Fanatic. Eh, that's weird. I don't think I've gotten it. Anyway, I think that's for when you've gotten all of the pieces, all of the golden LPs of the chat, uh, that you could collect through the chapters. Anyway, now let's just make our way over here. Either that, or you have to get every single one, and that includes the, nah, and that includes the ones that you have to do the hundred chapters and the other ones. Though I don't have them. The hundred chapter one you can't unlock through that cheat I showed you guys, but the hard one you could. So yeah, we've gotten every single golden LP that we can get in chapter-wise. So let's go get that final weapon from Rodan. Another LP? <laughs> Working me to the bone. But no need to pity me. I was bored anyways. You're always bored. Go whip some things into shape for you. Then again, it's always good that you're bored because you get us the weapons. Good one this time. You better have. You really get to lay eyes on this one, I tell you what. The Lieutenant Colonel Kilgore, or Kilgore, whatever you guys pronounce it as. I pronounce it Kilgore. And you can only equip it to either your hands or your feet, but you, that's because you could buy the alternative. Now we can get any of the alternatives, but I'm not going to get any of them just yet. I'm actually going to buy some techniques, like the heel slide. Actually, I think I... No, wait, not the heel slide. I'm going to get the afterburner kick. You just gotta jump immediately after jumping. And you can jump right in the air like that. I'm gonna get that one, that technique, and probably the witch twist. It's like, well, you guys will see what it is right now. You just hold the right trigger after press, and then hold, press Y while holding the right trigger. Sure you can! <laughs> Look at that. Though it is kinda hard to aim at the enemies, you have to like, go towards them. And then, like, da 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 da! Sure, you can up in this bitch. But yeah, I'm gonna get that attack. And maybe the Umbran Portal Kick. This one's kinda funny. You just gotta press B while holding the right trigger. And then you can hit any enemies that are in that circle. Yeah. Money shot. I don't know, I find this one hilarious. Look at that. And she finishes off with a pose. That's hilarious. I think I might get all of them. Yeah, screw it. I got money. If you get all of the, if you get all of the techniques, then you get an achievement as a result. There we go, Commander of Magic. And there we go. That's all. Later, Radon. We'll never see you again. Ah, yeah, we will. We still got to get those alternative weapons. Woo! Sure, you can. <laughs> Uh, that's hilarious. Anyway, now that we've gotten all the golden LPs, let's continue onward with the rest of the game. And we just gotta avoid these little ball things again. There we go, and make way across these light platforms that are circling. And make our way to this. There we go. This one's gonna keep going like that, 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 and then it's gonna do one more. Just letting you guys know. It's not the same as the last one we just went through. There we go. Sweet. And this one gives a shockwave off whenever it lands, so you just gotta jump. There we go. I think this one has a... No, nah, wait, not this one. I think one of these ones has a arcade bullet in it. Arcade bullet in it. 
Ah, freaking wind. It goes slow as hell in this chapter, and yet I got hit by it still. And I dodged right into that one. There's the arcade bullet. Dang, I, get, I think we got like three in this chapter. I can't remember. I think we always start out with three, but I'm not sure how many we have now. Just breaking these statues, just in case they ever have an enemy in it. Because seriously, if you don't break them, then you're going to miss a verse. Then that's going to screw over your end chapter mm, award. Hey, I wasn't going that way. That way, I meant. Now, remember those balls? Turns out it's an enemy! So, yep, we gotta fight this. It's an occult device, the golem. And it has only three forms. A dragon head, hands... There's the dragon head. It'll attack you immediately. And it has hands to try crushing you. And uh, it'll transform into a crow and to, like, swooping... And to try swooping at you. But I think it only transforms into the crow every time uh, you're far away from it. But the weak spot in it, the weak spot of it is that little ball on its head, or in its middle. It's its core. Hey, let me get into witch time. I know the camera's getting all awkward on me here. There we go. If you dodge its little crushing attack, then you can easily attack its head, its core. There. Ah, damn it! Get me into witch time, god damn it! There we go. Hey. There we go. Just a little bit more. Son of a bitch! There we go. And climax. Nope, you're going nowhere. This is, to me, the most hilarious climax in this game. You guys will see why. Did we just fail? Get rid of the evidence! Get rid of the evidence! Get rid of the freaking evidence! You saw nothing! <laughs> oh man, do I love that climax, it's hilarious. Anyway, and now we opened up that path that I didn't want to go down in the first place. We got gold, make your way up these steps, and the I think the final Umbran chest of this chapter. And it has a broken witch heart, and that makes for full witch heart. There we go, now we have two lines of health. Well, one in like a tenth of one. Anyway, now we, if you guys are wondering why I'm going all the way back, because we have to go all the way back, because guess what's missing? Two out of three, um, Alfine portals. Kind of hint enough. And fuck. Yeah, whatever, shortcut. <laughs> I don't care anymore about my end game score, or my end score. There we go, that was a shortcut. We got to make all the way back here, where we fought the three joys, and the final Alfine portal of this chapter. And remember, I suggest having the Shiraba for this, it'll make it a lot easier for you. Because guess what it is? It's another... Limited Kicks and Punches! You can only use 13 punches and 13 kicks. And I suggest waiting for one of them to attack you, going to Witch Time, charging up the Shiraba, and then, yeah, just attacking with that. Try me. No. No. Anyway, if you run out of punches and like they have just a little bit of health, and yeah, then you just use your kicks to kill them. Ah, crap, 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 crap. Damn it, I'm running out of punches here. Stop running back! Get over here! Get over here! And I just wasted more punches. Crap! And I'm running out of time here. Crap! 
Damn it, you guys saw that. I'm just cutting it to when I beat it, so I'll see you in a little bit. Oh, that was bullcrap. <laughs> okay, now my main problem is not getting hit. Screw it. Finish it when it kick. There. Now I barely had any problem with it. it. Took me like four tries this time. And I said this was moderately easy. It took me three tries on the first Alpine. Whatever, Silver. I don't care. Just give me my broken witch heart and I'll be on my merry way. Alright, now that we got that Alpine out of the way, let's, we just gotta make our way back here. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna keep doing that. Screw that. We just gotta make our way in here, and that's the end of the chapter. Okay, now this is surprisingly shorter than any other chapter other than the chapter eight. And I still got gold. Very nice. Thank you, pure platinums. And with that. Another installment of Angel Attack. Let's see how many bullets I got this time. Ladies and gentlemen, it's what you've been waiting for. Angel Attack! Ready? Damn. Fire! I did get... I think I did get three this chapter. And there we go. Trying to get... Hey. There we go. Got that one back there. God damn it. Die by my bullets. Hey. There we go. There we go. I don't get why they made the little ones only have, give three points. You you should get like more than that. They're little targets. How the hell would you not get more? Wow, that's the most I've ever gotten on this thing. 130. Dang. That gives me enough for another red hot shot, and I'll get a mega green herb lollipop and exchange the rest for halos. Sweet. I have enough to get two items and. Still exchange some halos. For some halos. But nope, we're not out of Paradiso just yet, guys. As I told you guys back in the end of Chapter 8, this is Part 2 of the Paradiso arc. So I'm just going to save right here, and we're going to end it off for Bayonetta this week, guys. And don't worry, there will be more Bayonetta next week. So next time on Let's Play Bayonetta, we're going to be going through Chapter 10, Paradiso, A Sea of Stars. So see you guys then.